What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You find me today up on the mat. We're doing some work on the game, all right? So today, I'm trying to put in some changes that I've needed to for a long time. Been a little inactive because we can't get on the course right now. I'm still getting the reps in indoors, but it's always a little different in terms of changing the game the way that we want to. So what you've just seen down on the ground right here is the RPM drill. So this is something that I've been using today to gauge my spinal position, my pivot, and basically how centered and how efficient my swing is right now. So the reason I'm working on this is because I've always had a tendency to get a little lateral. And what I mean by lateral is the upper body moving as opposed to around the spine, moving laterally, side to side, and that causes a couple of issues, okay? So as you can see in the demo, Although this is exaggerated, what we're seeing here is some early potential flexion of the spine. And as we've always talked about in the swing, every action has an equal or opposite reaction. Okay, so if in the backswing we go into flexion, there's a pretty good chance in the downswing we're going to get into that early extension. And we all know about early extension. Hips come towards the ball, torso stands up, and we don't really have much power in the club. You're going to be very inconsistent and it's probably not going to be very good, okay? So what I'm trying to work on and we'll be looking at in more depth over time is actually getting into some spinal extension in the backswing, allow me to then flex down into the ground and use the ground the way that all the best players are using the ground right now. So what we're seeing with the ground here with the drill itself is exactly that. So as you can see, we have three alignment aids on the ground all right you can use clubs you can use alignment aids i've got my guys from super speed hooking me up with some extra training as well so what we see here is going to be the rpm system so we're going to have ball position in the middle obviously change that relative to the club that you are using we have one inside the trail foot and we have one inside the lead foot okay all of those are going to be touching at the back to give you this angle this rpm style okay so what I'm looking at here is to allow yourself to stay centered around the middle line, okay? So what we're looking at is this spine angle, guys, all right? So again, when I get too lateral, this is gonna move around and the body can get out of position and the club's gonna get out of position as well. So getting the club back to the ball the same way each time probably isn't gonna happen the way that we want it to, okay? So I'm trying to stay much more centered create that really tight pillar and that rotation around the spine. So what happens then, with this here, I'm gonna try and match my spine angle to my ball position. Obviously, keeping the good tilts in there as well. I'm gonna try and turn my trail hip inside the trail alignment aid on the way back. Then as I transition down, still getting my weight into my lead side, I'm then gonna try and pull my lead hip inside of that lead alignment aid. So as we then push into the ground, we extend through the lead side and that hip works, okay? So when we do rotate that trail hip correctly, what we're gonna find is that we're then gonna be able to get that little element of extension going back. So instead of being down here and then popping out of your posture, as we turn, we're gonna stay centered, turn around the spine, really work that musculature vertically we get a nice tall backswing position, and then we can start to work down. So from here, we do need to get that weight back to the lead side, but our spine can still stay centered. That's where the tilts come in. We keep our chest over, and then we start to extend the lead side. We pop up, extend, and that is our impact position. Full extension through the lead, chest, spine, still gonna be aligned. We let it go up and over to the target, okay? so. This is an awesome thing to implement. Even if you are at home right now and not really hitting the ball, you can still work on this as a visual. Again, change the ball alignment as necessary and then start to work the hips and that rotation inside of the alignment aids that we go. So, for me, this is something I really need to work on because if I get too lateral, my tendency is always then to get too steep on the way down. Club's gonna stand up. And that makes it hard to control loft, control flight, and also to keep the driver somewhere on this planet, guys, all right? So in terms of optimizing, we wanna be able to turn around the spine, create the awesome rotation, 
and then flex into the ground. Go down into the ground, rotate around the ball, and then create that strike that we're looking for, guys. All right, so obviously this links into all the elements of training that we're looking at as well, because to create these movements, to create this posture, you need to be able to have a neutral spine, you need to be able to rotate, looking at that thoracic range of motion. You need to be able to fire the glutes, the whole of posterior chain, whilst using the ground. And that takes a lot, guys, all right? So, as you saw in the warm-up, you've got to be able to go through those rotational patterns. You've got to be able to prime the body, stabilize, and then deliver the swing that we are looking for. Okay, so, i got work to do. My game's not in the shape that I want it to be. You say lots of other factors to consider right now. But... This drill is going to be a part of what I use moving forwards, guys. All right, so appreciate you watching. Would love to hear your feedback on this drill, how it's working for your game, how you look to implement it, and then how you're ripping it out there, guys. All right, so subscribe to the channel, download the app, join the strongest movement in golf.